Here, our last video is on the demographic transition model. The demographic transition refers to the transition of a country from developing to developed. Um, it looks at birth rate, death rate, and growth rate. Um, it's really confusing because if you are in AP Hug, it has five stages from what I'm aware. Um, in here though, there's just four stages with, it's weird, I'm sorry. Um, the first stage is the pre-industrial stage with a high crew birth rate, high crew death rate, low growth rate. Transitional, we see the death rate begin to decrease with a high, the crew birth rate is still very high. So that means we're going to actually see really high growth rate. Industrial, that crew birth rate starts to come down um, because it starts, people start to realize it's like, oh, not many people die. So we don't have to have as many people to replace them. So we see it kind of leveling off. In post-industrial, we see the birth rate go down even more, um, crude death rate even more. Uh, and then we start to see that the growth rate begins to get lower and can actually approach zero and then get negative. So then we'd actually see the population decline over time. Whew, this is a lot. So let's just take it little bit by little bit. In stage one, um, or pre-industrial, which... I just, that's what they call them in AP, or in apes. Um, we see it's a very, very not modern kind of society. Um, think like back to medieval times and before. Um, there's a lot of disease, there's a lot of famine. Medicine is, you know, eh. Um, you need a lot of children to run your farm. And you also have a high infant mortality rate. So you need to have more children to keep up with the amount of children that are going to die. Uh, so because the birth rate and death rate are both very high, they match each other. We see the population um, stay very stable. So, for instance, in um, our historical historical human population growth, this was you know the thousands of years before the Industrial Revolution. The whole world was pretty much at this um, this growth rate here. And nowadays, you know, if there are any countries in this stage, it's, you know, very remote groups, um, very uncivilized societies. In uh, the second stage, the transitional stage, we see the death rate begin to decrease because um, there's more improvements with medicine and food and water, more sanitation. Life is just getting a little better. It's not great. It's still pretty, pretty, you know... Not developed, but it's getting there. But now because the death rate has gone down, the birth rate is still very high because that's just the way the way life has been for so many years. You have to have a lot of children. That's just the norm. Um, now a lot more people are replacing not as many people dying. So we see this gigantic increase in our growth rate. Um, and it's going to keep on growing and growing and growing until those countries like, oh, Oops, we actually don't need to have as many children. We're better. You have more people moving to cities, so you don't have as much of a farm life. You see more medicine, um, better diet, better um, just living conditions overall, and you don't need as many children to help you run the farm. So you see that the um, growth rate begins to come down and will start to kind of level off in the post-industrial stage. Um, and, you know, there's more... Family planning, better health, more education of women, later marriages, um, food is reliable, life is much better. So we can see that population growth rate um, stabilize, and then if it actually goes to below zero, which means we're going to have more people dying than being born, that's going to possibly lead into a natural decrease. Um, that's not to say that every country is going to be on that track, but it's there to explain why certain countries have, like, um, like Germany. Honestly, a lot of European countries are heading this way. Um, okay, so the developing countries is more on the left. Developed countries are more on the right. Your um, high growth rate is over here, um, stage one. The kind of more normal pyramid, your, your uh, high, like, Lowering growth rate is stage two. 
your rectangular zero growth is around stage three and stage four um, we have like this, the negative growth rate that's in five, four and then the hypothetical possible five that is not officially like in the apes it's weird i'm sorry and last thing i want to talk about are characteristics of developing and developed countries um of course you have differences in infant mortality rates and children in the workforce you also have a difference in fertility rate it's much lower in developed countries um, so you also have a lower growth rate in developed countries there's more medicine in developed countries than developing countries Infant mortality rate has gone down in developed countries. Births have gone down. Deaths have gone down. People live longer, and children are expected to work less um, because they don't need to, and they need to be focused on getting education. And I forgot to put the slide in, but as a summary, make sure to summarize the demographic transition model. The end.